A local artist is making kinetic waves across the country and the World Wide Web. KEZI 9 News reporter Kelsey Card is live in the studio to give us a lesson on steampunk art straight from the mind one of the pros. Kelsey? Jennifer, Steve LaRiccia has been involved in the local art scene for decades, but he's only been crafting his newest creations for the past year. And that time, in that time, though, he's already made a lasting impression in this somewhat mechanical genre of art. All right, activate the uh... fusion of Victorian technologies into the future. A subgenre of science fiction, steampunk art places an emphasis on steam or spring-propelled gadgets. Stars are not right now. Steve LaRiccia owns the New Zone Art Gallery downtown and Steamworks Research and Design Lab. Now, you don't have to treadle the whole time. Where his steampunk creations come to life. Yes, is right here. We have here Babbage's machination. Take a full tour of this 2006 Mac computer and travel back in time to a 1900 Singer Treadle sewing machine, an 1893 typewriter converted into a keyboard. Morse code, telegraph key as the mouse. Transmitters that I've repurposed into the speakers. A piece that exudes insane intricacy. It's not just for looks. All my work is interactive and kinetic. They do all these wonderful things. With a resume that bodes building airplanes and tinkering with televisions, his attention to detail grabbed the attention of other artists right away. 99% of all steampunk contraptions, or I should say art, are static. The magneto. It was just a different concept than what they were used to. They were amazed of what I did on my dining room table with nothing more than a hand drill and a soldering iron. If it isn't obvious by now, LaRiccia is into his craft. I enjoy what I do. Uh, it's a lot of fun. But so are uh, others. Look at this, Tom. Look at this. Which is part of why his wheels keep turning. I love showing these contraptions off to the public. I found that kids ages Three to 93 love my contraptions. If you are blown away by Steve LaRiccia's steampunk-inspired creations, you're not alone. Earlier today, he moved the Babbage's machination into the Mac store at the Valley River Center to be on display for the holidays. He'll be there to demo the device every Friday during lunch hour. Live in the studio, Kelsey Card, KEZI 9 News.